Beyond the Hollywood haze lie the real Caribbean pirates. Movies have often portrayed these figures romantically as dashing rogues on the high seas. However, the truth is far grittier. Pirates were not just outlaws driven by greed and desperation. Life aboard a pirate ship was brutal and short. So let's forget the myths and explore the real world of Caribbean piracy. Contrary to popular belief, pirates weren't searching for buried treasure. Instead, they sought valuable cargo and coin, targeting ships and coastal towns with legendary violence that made them feared across the Caribbean. Pirates weren't always lone wolves. They formed alliances, established their own rules and codes, and even created their own short-lived republic. This was a time of chaos and opportunity, with the Caribbean serving as a powder keg. Welcome to Searching History, friends. Today, we delve into the history of Caribbean pirates, exploring their origins, motivations, and impact as we separate fact from fiction. Get ready to uncover the untold truth. The Caribbean in the 17th century was a tumultuous place where European powers clashed over its riches. Sugar plantations fueled the demand for slaves, creating a volatile mix of greed, exploitation and violence where piracy thrived. Privateers, authorized by European governments, preyed on enemy ships. However, the line between privateering and outright piracy was easily blurred with many privateers turning to piracy for greater profits. The Spanish main, with its treasure fleets, was a prime target. English, French and Dutch pirates sought to disrupt Spanish trade and claim their share of the wealth. Port Royal in Jamaica became a notorious pirate haven. The rise of piracy had a profound impact on the Caribbean. Disrupting trade, spreading fear, and fueling the cycle of violence. Coastal communities lived in constant fear of attack, turning the Caribbean into a battleground for empires and outlaws alike. Imagine living in a coastal town in the 17th century Caribbean. The threat of pirate attack loomed large, with ships on the horizon bringing both hope of trade and fear of plunder. Life was a constant gamble. Sailors faced the greatest risks, where capture by pirates meant a life of servitude or a swift death. Forced labor, harsh punishments and disease were commonplace on pirate ships and survival was a testament to luck and resilience. Townsfolk were not immune to the dangers. Pirate raids often involved brutal violence with homes and businesses looted and burned. Men women and children lived in terror of the black flag. The psychological impact of piracy was profound, creating a climate of fear and uncertainty. The Caribbean, once seen as a land of opportunity, became synonymous with danger and lawlessness. The legacy of this era would linger for centuries. No discussion of Caribbean pirates is complete without mentioning Blackbeard. He cultivated a fearsome image with his long black beard said to be laced with lit fuses, making him a master of psychological warfare. Blackbeard's real name was Edward Teach. Little is known of his early life, but he emerged as a prominent pirate captain around 1716, terrorizing shipping lanes from the Caribbean to North America. Known for his brutality, Blackbeard would often torture prisoners to extract information. However, he was also a shrewd tactician who understood the power of fear and used it to his advantage. Blackbeard's reign of terror was short-lived as he was killed in a fierce battle with British forces in 1718. His death marked a turning point in the fight against piracy but his legend lived on, inspiring both fear and fascination. Piracy was a man's world, but some women defied the odds. Anne Bonny was one of them. She dressed as a man. She fought alongside her male counterparts. She became a legend in her own right. Anne Bonny was born in Ireland. She arrived in the Caribbean in the early 18th century. 
She married a small-time pirate, but she longed for adventure. She soon fell in with the notorious pirate Calico Jack Rackham. Bonnie proved to be a skilled and ruthless pirate. She participated in raids and ship captures. She was known for her fiery temper and her skill with a sword. She challenged gender stereotypes in a time when women had few rights. Bonnie's fate remains a mystery. She was captured along with Rackham and their crew in 1720. Bonnie claimed to be pregnant and avoided execution. But her final resting place is unknown. Her story continues to captivate and inspire. Section 6, the capture of the wider a pirate's prize. The capture of the wider galley in 1717 was a major victory for pirates. This fully laden slave ship was a prize beyond compare, cementing the legend of Black Sam Bellamy, the pirate captain who orchestrated the capture. The wider was sailing off the coast of Florida when Bellamy's ship, the Sultan, gave chase. Heavily laden, the Wider was no match for the swift pirate vessel. After a brief engagement, the captain of the Wider surrendered. The pirates were astonished by their haul. The Wider's hold was filled with gold, silver, ivory, and other valuables. It was a pirate's dream come true. Bellamy, known for his generosity, divided the spoils among his crew. The capture of the Wider had far-reaching consequences. It made Bellamy one of the richest pirates in history and fueled the public's fascination with piracy. The story of the Wider continues to intrigue treasure hunters and historians alike. Section 7. The Empire Strikes Back. The Fall of the Pirate Republic. The golden age of piracy couldn't last forever. European powers, tired of the disruption to trade, took action. They dispatched warships and offered pardons to pirates who surrendered. The noose was tightening. The Royal Navy played a major role in suppressing piracy. They hunted down pirate vessels and blockaded their havens. The capture and execution of Blackbeard in 1718 was a major blow to the pirates' morale. By the 1720s, the tide had turned. The pirate republic that had once thrived in the Caribbean was crumbling. Many pirates accepted pardons and abandoned their lawless ways. Others met their end on the gallows. The decline of piracy marked the end of an era. The Caribbean, once a haven for outlaws, was coming under tighter control. But the legacy of the pirates, their daring exploits, and their impact on the region would never be forgotten. Section 8, Legacy of the Buccaneers, Echoes in the Deep. The golden age of piracy may be over, but the legacy of the buccaneers lives on. From literature to movies, pirates continue to capture our imaginations. They represent adventure, rebellion, and the allure of the unknown. The real history of Caribbean pirates is far more complex than the romanticized versions we often see. These were ruthless individuals, driven by greed and desperation. They left a trail of violence and destruction in their wake. Yet, there's a certain allure to their story. They challenged authority, lived by their own rules, and carved out their own space in a world dominated by empires. Their stories remind us of the power of human resilience and the enduring allure of freedom. The Caribbean Sea holds the secrets of countless pirate exploits. Sunken wrecks, hidden treasures, and forgotten tales lie beneath the waves. The golden age of piracy may be over, but the echoes of their adventures still resonate in the deep. What are your thoughts on the real pirates of the Caribbean? Do you find their stories fascinating or reprehensible? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into pirate history, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more captivating content. 